Hello everybody. In this video, I have the in the live expression the longitude and latitude. Let's uh, resume this one. We get this value here. Put this value into the Google map and uh, I put the value here and enter. We get the position here. Let's get started with this. The wiring diagram is here. Ground to ground. Tx to A10. Rx to A9. And VCC to 5 volt. And uh, plug the USB mm, to the 5 volt power and you get 5 volt here. And because the we supply VCC 5 volt, because there is a regulator here, it uh, step down to 3.3 volt. The wiring connection is here. The GPS side and then STM32 side. Now I am in the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to work with Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. Let's create a new project. File new. The commercial part number I put F103C8 is the one. Next. And file name I put GPS. Finish. Uh, click system core. Sys debug serial wire. And connectivity. USART 1. Mode asynchronous. Uh, parameter setting, configuration parameter setting, the board rate changes to 9600, 9600, also, also NVIC setting, uh, tick. That's all the setting, we can click save. For simplicity, I have given the code in my website, link is in the description below. This is the one. The diagram pictures are here, the cube ID setting also here. The code uh, includes, we put these two lines, user code includes, we go to cube IDE and we paste it here. And uh, user code 0, we copy from here until user code N0, until here. Copy it, go to cube IDE, user code 0 is here, we paste it here. And then user code 2, we copy this line. And uh, use of code 2 is here. We paste it here. Now we can save. Uh, there's an error here. We right click this one and go to properties and uh, see build and setting and tick these two for the floating point and apply and close. Now it's gone. Uh, now What's happened is when the program start, it start the interrupt receive with only one byte, one byte at a time, and then when the, uh, it's completed and we get this call back, and uh, until a new line we put into the buffer. So the data is like this. Data is com something like this. This is the way uh, GPS sends the data, one line at a time. For example, if you take this line, it takes one byte and one byte like this until this one and whenever the new line comes, it completes. So that's what it is here. If new line reached, so it validates. The validate the data is here. The validate function is here. So what it does is, it, it checks the... Uh, This is how it validates. From here until the star, it XOR all the details. For example, G, XOR, P, XOR, G, like this. It XOR everything until this A. And then it checks whether the, the after the star, there are two characters. If it checks whether it's, both of them are same, then it's correct data. That's what it does. So if you go to the code, so it first check the dollar and if it's the dollar and then it checks one by one this is the XOR sign and then um, when star reached it's completed and uh, we put that into a hex uh, number and then check the first string and second string if both of them are okay it returns one otherwise it returns zero 
So, yeah, if it is validated in the callback function, if it is validated, it's okay, it passed the data. The pass function is here. This is the pass function. Yeah, this is the pass function. So, if it start with GPGAA, this is how we get the details. UTC time, NEMA latitude, north-south like this. If it is GPGLL, this way. For example, it is here. For example, if it is GPGLL, the first one is NEMA latitude and north-south, which is a north or south, at the NEMA long and east or west, and at UTC time, and mode 1, mode 2, and the checksum. This way. So, here, it gets like that. For example, GPGLL, it gets in this way. And then, the NEMA latitude and NEMA longitude, longitude in, it's in a different format. We convert to the Google map, we convert to NEMA to decimal format. So, this is the way we convert to decimal format. And we get the full number, yeah, this way, and we return the decimal. And that's all. We can... Uh, debug, so we can save first and then debug. Uh, in the debug, I'm going to put uh, this north, south, east, west and this longitude and latitude, these four um, values I'm going to uh, see in the live expression. Yeah, as I told, I'm going to, I'm checking this uh, value, you can type it here and then we receive. This is the numbers. I got it. We take this number into the Google map. So what we do is we take the latitude and then the, this one north south and then longitude and east west in this order. So I'm going to Google map. Yeah, I put the in, the, in this order. Uh, so I put it, I put it and then enter it. Uh, we got the position. Actually, this is not my home position. I went, when in the holiday, I went to this pl place and uh, I did this project. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.